Let's solve one previous question of graph theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2024 set 1, question number 41. The chromatic number of a graph is the minimum number of colors used in proper coloring of the graph. Let G be any graph with n vertices and chromatic number is K. Which of the following statement is or are always true and four options are given. Option A, G contains a complete subgraph with K vertices. This is false. If chromatic number is K, it's not guaranteed that G contain a complete subgraph with K vertices. In case of cycle having odd vertices, chromatic number is 3. There are no complete subgraph of 3 vertices. Hence, option A is false. Next option B, G contains an independent set of size at least N by K. Okay. Yes, this is true. Let's, this is a graph. So here, let this is green, this is green and these two vertex are blue. There are four vertices, so n equals to four. There are two color, k equals to two. So n divide k, that is four divide two. So one color is for two vertex, right? There are two independent sets, one for blue, another for green. So this is true. So option B is true. If there are k color classes and n vertices, then one color class size is at least n by k. Next option C, G contain at least k multiplication k minus 1 divide 2 edges. This is true. Let's take an example. This is a circle. This is green color. This one is blue and this one is red. K equals to 3. We have 3 color. Then at least how many edges graph can contain? So 3 multiplication 2 divide 2 is 3. So for 3 color at least there are 3 edges. Let's take another graph. Let this is red color. If this is red color, its adjacent cannot be red. So here it can be red. Let this is green. This can be green. Let this is blue. So here we record three color k equals to three. Then how many minimum edges required? Minimum edges graph is this cycle graph having three vertices. We need three edges. So minimum number of edges required is three. There can be any number of edges more than minimum three, right? So option C is true, G contain at least K multiplication K minus 1 divide 2 edges. Next option D, G contains a vertex of degree at least K. This is false. In case of complete graph, every vertex degree is N minus 1, whereas chromatic number is N. At least K is wrong. In case of complete graph, K equals to N, okay, degree of each vertex is N minus 1. Hence, option D is wrong. So, we found option A and option D are false, whereas option B and option C are true. So, answer will be option B and option C. G contain an independent set of size at least N by K and G contain at least K multiplication K minus 1 divide 2 edges. I already discussed graph coloring just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you